Hello and welcome back to my channel. The pandemic has slowed auto production, but not car makers' plans for new electrified vehicles. In fact, a few dozen all new, pure electric models are set to debut by the end of 2024. The rollout of new EVs, plug-in hybrids, and traditional hybrids is good news if you're looking for an alternative fuel vehicle. These models provide energy-efficient transportation while lowering or eliminating tailpipe emissions, diminishing noise, and reducing operating costs. But living with an electrified vehicle, especially a pure EV, is different from owning a typical gasoline model. So it's important to understand how they work, and to match their strengths with your driving needs and preferences. For instance, should you stick with a traditional gasoline electric hybrid that never needs to be plugged in? They're fuel efficient, and most are reliable, but they aren't emissions free. Or is a plug-in hybrid more for you? They split the difference between a hybrid and an EV, with a rechargeable battery that provides 20 to 40 miles of electric range before transitioning to regular hybrid operation. Or are you ready to take the leap to an EV? That eliminates the gas engine, but you need a convenient way to recharge. Below, we explain how the technologies work, plus offer CR's real-world insights into the pros and cons for each type. We also highlight a few models recommended by CR from each category that are smart choices. See our EV and hybrid buying guide and ratings. Bear in mind that several of the models are relatively new, and CR usually advises waiting a year or longer for automakers to work out the bugs. Holding off will also mean more models and EV charging stations, and possibly lower sticker prices. On the other hand, current tax credits, up to $7,500, may phase out while you wait. Hybrids Hybrids team an electric motor with a gasoline engine to provide efficient transportation. Owners don't need to worry about plugging their hybrid vehicle in, and these models drive similarly to regular cars. There are many affordable hybrids, with prices starting under $24,000. Plus, hybrid owners really like their vehicles. In CR's annual auto surveys, they tend to report higher overall satisfaction in new owners of non-hybrid versions. The technology. Hybrids typically combine a relatively small gasoline engine, at least one electric motor, and a small battery pack. The electric motor supplements the gas engine, and allows the engine to shut off at low speeds and when coasting. Regenerative braking lets hybrids recapture energy that would otherwise be lost and use it to recharge the battery pack. This technology has been on the market for over 20 years. Plug-in hybrids. Plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, FEVs, are a bridge between traditional hybrids and full electric vehicles, allowing for local driving on electric power alone with the convenience and range of a gas engine for longer road trips. The technology. FEVs have a larger battery than regular hybrids have, so they can be driven farther and more often on electric power. As with regular hybrids, Regenerative braking can extend the battery's range, and a gasoline-powered engine and electric motor switch back and forth as needed. Owners can get by with level 1 charging, 120 volts, because the battery packs are small compared with those in pure EVs. Pros, most can travel between 20 and 40 miles on electric power. They get good fuel economy, even after the electric range is depleted. They provide the benefits of a pure EV for short drives or commutes while still having a gas engine for longer trips without charging worries or range limitations. Some are eligible for a federal tax incentive of up to $7,500. Cons, they are more expensive than regular hybrids or gasoline cars. To reap full efficiency benefits, owners must recharge frequently. Some are less fuel efficient than regular hybrids once the electric portion is depleted. Plug-in components often take up cargo space. Charging can be challenging if you live in a multi-unit dwelling or don't have access to off-street parking. Other plug-in options. Because plug-in hybrids often account for a very small portion of the model line, we sent only a few through our test program this past year, but we rented several FEVs from automakers to gain valuable intel. Among those we particularly liked was the BMW 330. $42,950, $44,950. It provides almost all the driving excitement of the regular 330i we tested, with about 20 miles of electric-only range. We also rented a Lexus NX450h Plus SUV, 
$56,725-$57,975. It has an electric-only range up to 37 miles and mighty quick acceleration, but the gas engine sounds coarse when you push it hard. The Jeep Wrangler 4Z $52,530, $58,105. Shown above, can traverse off-road trails using Whisper Quiet Electric Motors and has an electric range of 22 miles. But it gets Environmental Protection Agency estimated fuel economy of only 20 mpg combined when running as a regular hybrid, and it costs about $7,000 to $12,000 more than a standard model. Fully electric, Battery electric vehicles, BEVs or EVs as they are commonly called, are very efficient, and most new models have a driving range of well over 200 miles. But driving them long distances requires extra planning regarding where and when you'll charge. The technology. Full EVs rely on large battery packs to power their electric motors. They forego complicated parts such as an internal combustion engine or a conventional transmission. Under normal circumstances, it takes between 8 and 10 hours to recharge an EV using a level 2, 240 volt connector when the battery is near empty. Electric vehicles tend to cost more than other models, but many are eligible for tax incentives. Even some plug-in hybrids qualify. Plus, there may be local and state tax credits, rebates, or vouchers, depending on where you live. So do your homework to see what credits might be available as well. That's all for today. I hope you to like the video. Please like and subscribe my channel.